So I've been playing Bloxburg for around 5 years now, and in that time frame, I have gotten around t over 20 plots. Um, granted, I've deleted majority of my builds, but I still have a good large amount of builds. And you guys have asked quite a bit for me to show off all the plots that I have, so we're going to be doing that today. Okay, so looking at my plots, we have a total of 21 plots. Granted, a few of them are empty, and then some of them are kind of work in progresses. Um, and we you just saw plot 20, and that was empty. So, well, you didn't see it, but it's empty, and you can tell, so... Anyways, let's start with the first plot. So we have random builds and testing. So <laughs> this plot is pretty much as it exactly sounds. So originally I was going to use this plot to do like I'll show you. But um, <laughs> yeah, this plot's a kind of a mess. I cleaned it up too a while ago, but I was originally going to use this plot to make like just these random like small rooms and stuff. But yeah, I really like how this came out. It's on my Instagram if you haven't seen it already. And then we have my food green screen station. So I could make a couple of like food menu decals for another build a show in a little bit. And then we've got the presents that you can kind of move around and stack. It's kind of random, but... And then this box, there's a long story behind it, but long story short, after everyone was gatekeeping floor decals back in like 2021, I came up with my own design. <laughs> it's pretty hideous, but I didn't know how to do it and we didn't have transform back then. So I had to do my own thing since everyone was gatekeeping, but that's a different story. But yeah, I've built this house back in like 2020, I think. I think I did come back and do a little renovation cleanup of it. But yeah, this is like really old. So like nothing's resized. But yeah, this is like one of my first realistic builds that I tried to do. I got most of the inspiration from this from Lucas, I think it was. But yeah, we've got all these like random things everywhere and very muted colors. The best part is for the beams, we had to use garden planters. I think the flowers broke after the recent update, but oh well and my bathtub maybe it didn't i don't remember how this looked i do think i updated the kitchen colors though because i don't remember keeping it green but yeah i really like how the kitchen came out though after all these years still i don't know why i use those chairs so much but oh well and then i do remember how i started this build was i saw a picture on instagram not instagram pinterest and then we've got a small little outside area here ignore that the bushes are carpet colored textured i think it worked back then but it's just weird now and then i forgot to show this part but then here is the bedroom i don't i think i used the bed from one of lucas's builds as well for this but it's crazy to think that this build will be four years old in like november okay so plot number three is my mid-century modern okay so this next house is my mid-century modern house that i built originally in like 2021 i think it was i didn't i finished it in like july of 2021 it's somewhere on my instagram you can scroll down and see it um don't know why there's a dresser here and i don't know what happened to the decal numbers but oh well but yeah, i did all of this on mobile which was pretty insane to think about like if you guys are ever interested in me making like a trying to build a mobile video let me know in the comments i mean i'd still be over here we've got the kitchen i liked the kitchen it was kind of cool it was sleek like i don't know how else to describe it, it was sleek and the funniest thing is this was the only house i have ever actually filled up the pantries and cabinets everything's kind of wonky you'll notice in some of my like older builds but and then the whole issue with this build is that obviously the ceiling is like slightly raised than normal the actual ceilings would end right here and that was a whole issue you can see over here from when i was trying to build all of this on mobile i made some really gross decisions with this whole build but okay this is my favorite section of the whole home is the dining space i don't know why it's just it's just something so cozy about it like just the windows and the fireplace i don't know and then coming out here i've got some double glass doors to your back patio which is really nice and i put a lot of effort into back here the whole landscaping was really nice on this build i need to go quicker through these builds but um yeah small little outdoor 
eating area custom wool kind of thing it was nice <laughs> and then just a random couch and chair and chairs and fireplace i guess okay so plot number four is this suburban neighborhood i think i called it yeah suburban neighborhood and originally this was so i could save myself like walk books and robux from trying to buy plots to build houses because this was like when i was trying to like start grinding out a couple builds but oh well um quickly looking through this house we've got the modern farmhouse family modern farmhouse i couldn't tell you when i built this i think it was 2022 could have used some work and some more color in it but i mean overall it's fairly nice and there is a upstairs which i will say i do like how the roof on this house came out like i followed some random floor plan website for this but it looks really good like we've got a little study nook up here and then i think there's a kids room yeah kind of lame kids room i'm not gonna go in there i hate that bathroom i will say i love this kitchen though like huge window right in front of your sink to look out it's so nice like the kitchen is my f kitchen and office are my favorite part of this whole house oh i am really proud of this custom basketball hoop i made i did update with the actual basketball but i'm not getting rid of this i spent too much time to make this custom basketball hoop and then we have another mid-century modern house if you can't tell that's one of my favorite house styles but it, it's a nice house i will say it's very grayscaled which bugs me oh ignore this this was stuff from the old house that i was deleting i will say the backyard's pretty chill like i could live back here fire pit pool lounge area access to your front area front door front door front of the house i don't know and then this was the only bedroom of the house yeah that's pretty much it for this little suburban neighborhood plot okay so this next plot my fifth plot is called my work plot and it's pretty much, as you can tell, it's my working plot. I've got four mood stations. Yeah, I've got a random car here, a kitchen, Christmas foods. <laughs> I've got like everything here. And then snowmobile. And then I stocked up on my Valentine's Day stuff here because it was the plot I had loaded at that moment. But yeah, not much going on. It's my work plot, pretty straightforward. Okay, so plot number six. Okay, this is kind of random but this is called bcao shuttles but um long story short it just has four vans on it and the sign if you don't know what bcao is it's a um blocksburg aviation roleplay group um and it's the most popular and most realistic blocksburg roleplay aviation roleplay that people have to offer so you should definitely check it out i'll try and leave a link down below to it but if i don't remember you can just probably look it up okay plot number seven is my target i'm not gonna load that only because you guys have seen it in my last video so if you haven't already go check that out um i'm still trying to plan things out for the interior i don't know how long it'll be till that but oh well and then plot number eight my modern japanese home okay so my modern japanese home plus a little bit more um i'm not gonna go in depth and tour much of it because you guys should go check out that video if you haven't already and then i also have a modern japanese coffee shop i never finished because that was after my last video before i went on my hiatus for a while and i was trying to get an idea of what i want to do to finish this plot off but judging with the how high the plot data is i don't think i'll ever be able to yeah this house is cool i love the interior of it this is definitely one of my better interiors like it's just very neat and well put together like i just love the living and dining space so much okay so the next plot on my list is called two plot house okay so this build actually is kind of cool and i've got some story behind it ish um but long story short i was trying to build Bloxburg's first ever two plot house for like three years straight it I was like five attempts in at this point when I built this and I gave up on this and there's a huge gap here because there was a house but I deleted the house because 
long story short, I kind of copied people for it and gaslit myself into thinking I didn't, but yeah, it was a cool project, but never really worked out. Okay, and then next up on the list is an empty plot. I'm not gonna load it because it's empty. And then this plot, I'll show you guys, it's basically empty. There is, you can see, um, a shower, <laughs> um, some marking because I was gonna try and build a house here, and a car. That's it, there's nothing here. Anyways, moving on from the empty plot, um, what was that, 11? Number 12, ooh, this is a good one. This is a Star Wars X-Wing and TIE Fighter that I built for, um, Bloxburg Build League back when MathBXB was still on YouTube. Like, the theme was space, I think it was, or Disney, I don't remember. And I already started this build before, and it was perfect. Again, all of this was built on mobile. Um, like, I added the, um, smoke machines to make it look like the, um, they were actually, like, flying over Tatooine or something. I'm not much of a Star Wars nerd or anything, I just, I've watched, all, like, all the movies, but that's about it. But yeah, it's a really cool build, and this was obviously back before spheres were added, so it's, like, a good, like, just 500 rotated, um, cylinders twice to get the sphere shape. But the best part is, you can sit in it, and, like, it's really detailed and really cool. It makes for good pictures as well. I don't know why I just, like, held on to my S right there. But, like, it's so cool. I love this build so much. I'm glad I've kept it all these years. Okay, and plot 13 is my Retro Space Diner. Okay, this is another build that I did for um, the Bloxburg Build League that Matt BXB hosted. I think I did add a couple of things, mostly just this car um, afterward. Again, all built on mobile, which was so cool i'm so glad i kept this build as well um but yeah it's pretty much just like a random little like floating diner in space but yeah there's this little platform i had, was gonna do like a little motorcycle here but i ran out of time and patience there's a small little creaky gross restroom out here i don't know how to describe it it's just random. I love all the pipe and, like, stuff all across the exterior. But the interior is so cool. Again, I went through, like, a build crisis and built, like, anything and everything I could at that time. And I couldn't find my own style, too. But this was so cool. And I built this little rocket here. Like, it's taking off. But yeah, I've got little robots working here. Um, it was, again, kind of themed off of Star Wars as well. Kind of just trash area. And a robot taking a smoke break, but that's besides... He's not taking a smoke break. Um, this guy is just chilling here. He's had a long shift. Um, and then we've got the gross kind of grimy kitchen. Like, there's even holes in the wall. But no, I love this build so much too. It's just really cool and old. I never finished back there, I think. I'm pretty sure it's just... Yeah, we don't talk about the backside. Okay, so this is a big build. If you noticed, I've done a lot of big and small, medium builds. I pretty much do about everything. Okay, while we wait eight years for this max plot data build to load in, um, long story short, this is my Seattle Tacoma International Airport recreation. Well, part of it. That airport's massive. We've got small, tiny plots. I can't do much about it. But yeah, on this side of the terminal, we've got um, one security checkpoint, um, which I have blocked off right now because of some reasons. But so most people will just go through this checkpoint. Checkpoint three. And obviously, I love how the cube line post came out. I think I was like the first person to come up with this design in Bloxburg. So yeah, I'm proud of how they came out and I'm glad I've set off a good trend of people using those. And then we come into like the big like area here. I don't remember what you call it, but yeah, it's not accurate. Um, it's supposed to be like a different like tan rock kind of granite up there. I just can't get it to work or look right. 
And then this airport does have two concourse halls, so I'm just proud of that. We got the A gates, except I'm not gonna talk about how I kind of messed up and made part of the build unrealistic, but the A gates are actually supposed to be on that side of the airport, but I kind of was dumb and forgot about that, so. But yeah, this ceiling is so cool. It took forever because I was dumb and did it out of planks to save plot data. But it's like some sloped roof with some planks angled down. And then with basic shapes, I did this little curve here, which it looks really good. We've obviously got the restrooms here. They're both identical. So I'll just show the one. Sinks, toilets, hand dryers, that's it. And then, of course, we've got the Hudson News, which is pretty much just a, um, what do you call it? Why am I blanking on the name? What do you call these? Like, I know what they're, <laughs> I know what they are. Um, duty-free. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's like a duty-free shop, but yeah. And then we've got a little Starbucks here. Um, and this is what I used that green screen plot for on the first one. Oh, I forgot. Okay. And then in this little like seating area, I've got a couple more shops. We've got this little Koi Sushi restaurant. Kind of cute, kind of random, but. And then we've got this little like suitcase store. Not much going on here. I'm really low on plot data, so I can't detail it, this build anymore. We've got two gates here as well, B1, B2. They're pretty much identical. There's just more seating on this side. And then there is a McDonald's. We've got Lucky's Fish Shack, which I think it's called something Lucky Lou's Fish Shack or something like that. I don't remember. But that's here. Evergreens, which is a salad place. So you can obviously make your own custom kind of salad bowl. If I remember, that's what it's called, right? Okay, anyways, we've got the Alaska Lounge here. Um, we've got like the front desk. I don't know why the register is open. Anyways, we got the actual lounge here. I love how this came out as well. I put a lot of effort into this space. It hardly gets used, unfortunately, during our flights. But yeah, we got this little buffet here. And then like whoever's working here can make. In the actual airport, they're pretty much like Starbucks baristas here as well. So it's kind of why I got like a Starbucks set up back there. Okay, moving on from plot 14 to number 15, we've got... Ooh, we've got... Okay, um... Okay, so as you saw as the title was, this is New York City Rockefeller Center. Um, I started it, like, at the beginning of December, or, like, mid to end of November, which was my biggest mistake ever. Because I ran out of time and couldn't finish this in time for Christmas. If I wanted to, I probably could have finished in time for New Year's, but... I really wanted it to be a Christmas build, so I kind of gave up, and it's like partial done. But here's my issue I'm having, is it's just not, it, it just doesn't feel or look right. Like, there's just some iffy pieces everywhere that I really don't like. Like, these buildings, they're so plain, but I have to delete them to fix them. But yeah, I, had, I was going to have a ton of stores here. I had, like, a couple jewelry stores, clothing... And then I did another Starbucks in here. And this is what I originally made the decals for. I love how this place came to look. It just looks really good. New York City, like, skyline here, too. But yeah, and I did a little Lego store. I like how this came out. I'm kind of... It's a little plain, but there's not much I can really do, if you know what I mean. Like, the boxes, boxes are really plain. It's a small, weird space. And then I'll show you over here. There's one more story completed, which was com something completely custom, which is Cafe Flor. Don't know why I just had like a random little accent there, but, but yeah, Cafe Flor, I kind of, as you can read from the sign, a cafe inspired by the culture and architecture in Venezuela. Um, like I copied some random build, like house thing, not house. Oh my gosh, this is not a house. Like, I copied some random cafe picture I found off of Google, and then I really liked this back counter. Um, like, I rounded it here, got food displays, um, I even got- I made a custom coffee maker, and I love, 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 love the ceiling here, 
like it's just it gives a lot of depth to the build as well so but we have the prometheus i could be totally wrong sculpture and water fountain here which looks pretty good um saying it's like the first ever statue i've built in Bloxburg. okay and then plot 16 Ooh. okay so this is the starter house renovation this was actually the first build video that i posted on my channel which is nice really cool and it blew up which was extra surprising but yeah i renovated the original starter house a little bit i want to say a little bit by i mean a lot again it being my first build video there's not much i can do about that did i okay i'm mixing up the two starter house renovations i did i was gonna say but yeah okay we're almost through all my plots but this is plot 17 the peaceful living starter house renovation honestly this is like one of my favorite builds i've done it's just very complete and well done in my opinion well rounded oh my gosh one of the decals got deleted dang it anyways it'll probably be somewhere else deleted as well because i reuse decals every there it is anyways <laughs> yeah i really liked how this house came out again it's one of my favorites it's just very clean and like done well done overall okay moving on from 17 we've got plot 18 the oceanside house because the roblox chat fil chat filter roblox filter prohibited me from saying beach house for some reason if the build ever loads um this is another big build on my channel um which is my traditional beach house that i re kind of recreated from a picture and then kind of did my own thing on it we've got this huge like just open front yard gate windy driveway to your two-car garage but yeah here's the awesome little um vaulted like ceiling and the kitchen so nice as well love the green that i found living room's nice too pretty simple sofa chair the actual beach part of the house it's okay i feel like it could be better with the landscaping here but i don't know what to do i don't do beach houses i don't live near beach at all um i'm gonna ignore that bathroom you guys can look at the official tour of the house this bedroom is my favorite it's just very I don't know it's something about it that's nice and i think the kind of darker lighting up there fits better for this room but you guys can be the judge of that as well and then this bathroom is nice i will say again all my bathrooms and like bedrooms look alike for some reason i need to try and branch out on that a little bit more okay i think i know what the next plot is gonna be plot 19 and plot 19 is delta okay okay so um i'm gonna show this very briefly i'm not gonna go in depth of anything of how i did any of this but i'm trying to build a plane in blocksburg and it's gonna be like an actual realistic looking one if i can get my life together and figure it out but i'm trying to figure it out. it's a mess right now of a plot none of these are official i have to make a new fuselage still however i am so proud of how this engine came out like look how clean and smooth it is like it took a long time to get like i'm gonna free cam because it's so pretty but look how like smooth it is it's got shape angles okay and this is the final build of the video i'm gonna show it's my last plot as well plot 21 um and this is the john f kennedy international airport terminal 4 in specific yeah, I've got this huge arch ceiling out of basic shapes. And I'm gonna show this kind of closer, but it like slopes into the skylight as well. That took so, this whole thing took forever. Here's where it gets rough. I decided to expand the whole upper terminal back after I already built it because the security area is very cramped right now. And I, forgot to have a little like passport check here so i have to expand it back so i have to redo my entire roof and custom windows here which bothers me a lot got these custom little street lamps here as well and then obviously there's like six check-in rows or something like that yeah and then security 
and then it's really dark down here and I'm, it's gross as well because I'm trying to plan everything. But yeah, that pretty much is all of my Bloxburg plots that I have right now, all 21 of them. So I hope to do this again later in the year or at the start of next year um, when I have more builds done and 